Hey, what's up out there, all you baddies? I need you to subscribe to Raise Chaos. I'm coming after you. Gungala! And welcome back, everybody. My name is Raise Chaos. You've made it back to my channel, and <laughs> we are doing another repeat. I almost never do this. Um, I love being able to tie my videos together when I can. Um, I did the last Ronin earlier this week. Um, I, heck, last Friday I had the last Ronin as far as a uh, as one of the sodas that I uh, unwrapped and got a freaking chase of. <sighs> we're we're just we're we're just not going to talk about that right now. We're, we're not. We're not doing it. Um, but <laughs> this is, uh, but yeah, for me to do that and then do the, uh, the last Ronin figure that, you know, came out to, that I put out Tuesday along with the book, which you know how rare that is. Um, uh, yeah, that, that happened and, uh, we're going to continue on with this Thanksgiving. Um, I'm not a big Thanksgiving person, uh, beyond the actual eating. So it may seem odd because I have not really acknowledged Thanksgiving yet, even though it was yesterday. Um, I don't really acknowledge it and I don't really care that much about it other than getting together and eating with family. Um, anybody looking for a themed Thanksgiving thing is probably gonna enjoy and avoid my channel because you know, you don't have turtles for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, Ray's did. <laughs> We're putting you away and we're gonna talk some turtle. So Ray's just happened to run by his uh, local GameStop and uh, he found the Biddy Pops for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, yeah, he was able to get all four of them and uh so he was like well hey we're not gonna miss this opportunity and uh got one of each of the four sets that they put out i mean obviously the mystery thing is the one that makes it a gamble um and the chances of getting all four of the uh mystery characters is extremely low as we learned with the uh the avengers that i did we did the avengers and I'm, I'm still missing like two of the things and I'd like them, but I don't have them. But we're gonna see how we do with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, yeah, I love the Biddy Pops. I love that you're able to uh, collect them. And again, like this does it, this is not even, you know, it takes less space than this to collect these guys. <laughs> and I love the fact that they come with the little, uh, little display shelf in there so you can show them off uh which actually just kind of enhances the ones you don't have because they're empty but enough about that we're gonna we're gonna break into some turtles right now um i got them and uh uh i of course i had to use the back to make sure that i was getting the different ones and we're gonna do them in the order so the first one that we're going to open is the one that has leonardo up front so we're going to tear these open and have a look at it. And yeah, here I go. Woo. And here's the little stand that you get to put your little figures in. And um, who do we get here? We've got We've got Leonardo, um, <laughs> really cute. Um, get a good close look at him. Um, <laughs> got the swords crossed and yeah, these things are so tiny. They're awesome. Um, so Leonardo and his little, <laughs> Let's see if I can't take him out right now. Well, I won't. Um, we'll keep them in the stack real quick as we get out. I mean, obviously I'm going to show a close up to you guys. You've probably already seen it by now. Um, but just letting you know what's in these sets and we have Michelangelo. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, he came right out, um, with his nunchucks 
considered the youngest of the turtles, even though they kind of came, they all mutated at the same time. I've never quite understood that. Um, but yeah, he is where you get the initial cowabunga out of. And um, yeah, he's got the orange uh, orange head, headband mask and uh, wraps. Um, that is so cool. I always found it interesting that they've got them numbered up here. I guess that's for the Funko numbers, like the actual pops. But uh, I, I, I don't really quite get it. Um, I guess it was an, yeah, I guess it's easier to reprint out the label that they used for the boxes. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put him back again because that's, we're going to see how the set goes. Uh, we're going to try and uh, remake the image on the back here where they show you exactly. I might switch uh, a little bit. <laughs> when we get further down um, but that's the case there uh, and then we've got April O'Neil which uh, has been around for as long as the turtles have been out there she's been an, a, an integral part uh, she actually is in uh, the the last Ronin um, uh, of course all the characters are in the last Ronin at some to some degree um, and yeah she's Awesome. The tiny detail on this is just absolutely amazing. Um, holding the little camera. She's got her yellow jumpsuit, which uh, I understand that she's kind of stuck in that thing. But it's like, really? <laughs> it's one of the things about 90s ca cartoons that have uh, had always driven me nuts. It's just like the people don't change clothes. Um, they wear the same th thing everything you see, every time you see them. Um, they're always wearing like the same, you know, hat or like coat or shirt. Uh, every time they make an appearance, you make it makes you wonder if that's the only thing that they wear. And uh, it, it probably isn't. I mean, I'm sure if they were real, they would change clothes sometimes and not wear the same outfit every freaking day. Okay, we're not going to go there. Um, yeah, we're going to put her away, and we are going to check out the mystery figure that we got. And yeah, it's given away because they don't cover up the top, so I already know what we've got, and these are so different that, uh, yeah, all the all the mystery things in this one is, are so different that you can't help but notice who's, who's where. Um, so I already know that this is the... Ugh. Quit. Quit being difficult. This is not what we need. Why is this one going to be so... Oh, there we go. Rip that open. Put you away. Rip that open. So, yeah, we've got... We've got the 16-bit uh, Michelangelo. Um, which we're going to have a look on the back here and see. Yeah, this is uh, the one and three. So, um, yeah, just ju basically looking at it on the on the bottom row is all the 16-bit characters. And you've got the three turtles. And then now I've got the fourth. So I've got, obviously, I've got a whole set of the 16-bit uh, turtles. So that's really cool. I like that. I like, but uh, obviously I was going to get a, get at least one of these, uh, of these rows completely full. Uh, we're hoping for two or more. And, uh, yeah, so we're moving on to the other character. This is, this is one that I will most likely, uh, once I get it together and sh set them up the way they're put out, this is one that I probably will rearrange to, uh, to my liking, which is awesome because I can. And uh, we're open up set number two. Uh, but who do we got? Why do I keep tossing that off to the side? I need that. And here's our second stand here. And we've got Donatello, which, oh yeah. Like we've got, we got, 
three quarters of the turtles now as far as the regular collection and uh that's awesome holding his bow staff the yeah the the arm and the armbands and everything being in purple that is donatello that is so cool and now we get to dip into some villains here and we've got the big bad himself we have got shredder which i know there are bigger bads in the the uh uh in the turtle universe but um th this guy even even in the story in which he was killed in the first issue um of the turtles spoiler alert <laughs> yeah shredder shredder doesn't last long in the in the original series um but even then his influence and his uh the the emperor he was trying to create remains to be uh, a huge opposing force so even in death the shredder still makes his uh his presence known and uh that is just totally cool so that's a huge one and we're just moving right along and now we have baxter baxter stockman the scientist who turns himself into a fly and uh yeah, that's so awesome. They've got the little bow tie and everything and the little bit that looks like a mask uh, due to the headset that he wears. Um, you, got, you, see the, you can see the extra arms on there. Uh, yeah, that's just totally cool. Uh, <laughs> and he actually even makes an appearance in The Last Ronin as well. Um, uh, he's actually a big part of the problem there. But yeah, ba Baxter Stockman... Uh, the cartoon didn't make him out quite as, uh, as bad as he is in the comics. Um, but, uh, still he's, he's a very important character and, um, he, he, yeah, <laughs> he's perfect for any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collector. And, uh, now we are going to look and see, I didn't even look at the top at this point. So I do not know who the little mystery character is at the, in here. And we're going to try and do it to where I don't actually look at the top when I before I open this. And boom. Oh, yeah. We got Casey Jones. Casey Jones. He's a one in six. So that is probably one of the harder ones to get. We got Casey. And uh, that makes our top line complete. And, yeah, I gotta look at this guy. He is my favorite character from this. But, yeah, he's got the he's got the hockey mask on. He's got the stick. And, uh, yeah, that is really awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put him where he belongs as far as the pecking order goes. And, uh, or the display thing. So, yeah, he goes right up top here. Uh, so, I've completed one set of these. The way that they display them. <laughs> Here I go. Knock them out. Um, yeah, these are the hardest things to do close-ups of because they are so tiny. And giving you a 360 view of these gets kind of difficult. Now I'm psyched to get into the second one because I've got two of the mystery characters. And uh, let's face it, if we're going to get duplicates, we're going to get duplicates of the mystery characters. And uh, at this point, I've gotten as many as I uh, have, have opened. So that is really awesome. Let's hope for another different one as we tear this one open. Boom. Oh, we've got it open. And uh, let's see. This is the set that starts with Splinter. Let me put this guy over here. We could go ahead and stack them because we are stacking them. And we'll get the full view of what we got and what we didn't. And yeah, we've got Splinter, the rat sensei of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh, ooh, he's got his little cane and his robe. And uh, this is just, these are so cute. It's, it's absolutely insane. Um, it's easy to collect these because, again, they stack. They come with their own uh, little cases. And, uh, boom, we've got 
we've got uh, a splinter. We've got the head guy as far as the head rat. <laughs> I always love the fact that he's a rat. And then we've got my favorite turtle. Yeah, they had Raphael in here. And uh, he's got a snarky little growl going on. As opposed to, like, uh, Leonardo's got the half smile going on, half growl. We've got Michelangelo with the full smile. Uh, Donatello has got the, the half grin on either side. I like how they did that, where it's just like, Leonardo's got the growl here. Uh, Michelangelo's just got the full smile. And uh, Donatello's got the growl here. So they managed it, and then Raphael's got the full growl. So, yeah, this is really cool. And uh, I'm going to try and take him out and have a look. Um, not terribly worried about doing it here because obviously I get to take him out and get a look at him when I put him on the spinner. And yeah, there is the tiny little turtle. And uh, <laughs> he's just so cool looking. <laughs> totally in red. And uh, I love the detail, I think. It does look like they managed to put the initial on the... Uh, on the uh, belt so that's a huge plus and uh, ah, and then we've got we've got Rocksteady oh yeah we've got Rocksteady uh, the big rhinoceros mutant that came out here uh, I he was easily my favorite as far as the villains go because well I love rhinoceroses and uh, <laughs> Yeah, he's got that going on. I love that he's got turtle shells on in, in the back um, because it just makes him look like he destroys turtles, uh, just not the big ones. Um, he was he and Bebop tended to be like the dunces, and uh, so there's that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is totally cool. And. Yeah, just, yeah, I'm loving the set of these going, and uh, who did we get as far as the mystery figure on here? And, oh, I just saw him. I actually just saw him. Oh, and it comes right out here. We've got Leatherhead. Leatherhead, the mutant alligator, and he is a one in six, just like Casey Jones. And uh, that makes three of them. That means I'm only missing one of the characters, and that could turn out just right over there. Um, but yeah, he's got the Cajun look, uh, the, or the swamp look. I shouldn't say Cajun, but I was just in Cajun land not long, long ago, so I was a little easy to say that. And I did see alligators. I didn't see him. Uh, but yeah, I love the hat, and uh, I always love the accent that they gave him in the cartoon. Um, I did watch a bit of that, uh, primarily because my brother wanted to watch it, but uh, I always leaned more towards the the comics because they were they tended to be more serious. So, boom, we've got Leatherhead, and this guy goes right in here for now, just like the display shows. So, boom, we have got. This little set is looking good so far. Uh, only missing one at this point, but of course we've got uh, one more to open, and that could, I mean, that would be absolutely awesome if uh, that's, we've already got like the digital one for, actually technically speaking, yeah, we've got this one. So we've got a full set, so the only chance is that we are missing Bebop. And, uh, dude, that would be absolutely awesome if that's what's in this. Because, uh, I mean, the chances of that is one in three. We've got a one in three chance. Am I going to get the entire set from just getting that bit? That would be, that would be a perfect, perfect, uh, Bitty Pops pull. And, uh, who? Here's our stand, and here's my turtle. Um, obviously, Michelangelo was the uh, giveaway on there, and now we've got Raphael, and it's basically the exact same thing, only it's the 16-bit version, and even in the spelling, they've got it looking like that, and uh, if I can't take it out here, um, if I can't take it out here, I will uh, 
definitely be putting uh, the, uh, I've got the close-up going. You're watching the close-up right now, I'm sure. Um, but, I mean, if you've seen the regular version, this is just the 16-bit version of him. And, uh, yeah, I'm so tempted to look at this thing, go right to it, but, I mean, let's face it, it's probably not going to be him, though I would absolutely love it if it was. And uh, we've got Donatello, the 16-bit Donatello. Um, it, it's really kind of cool knowing that I've got, even if I don't get that, I've got like all four of the, uh, I, I've got at least a set of the 16-bit versions of the Turtles, um, which uh, that's kind of cool knowing that that's, it's one and three. So, you know, it wasn't necessarily ordained that I was actually going to get one. So, uh, yeah, we've got Donatello. Uh, set, Pretty much the same pose, isn't it? Um, yeah, it's the same pose, just the 16-bit version. Um, slightly bigger, more blocky, and uh, that goes for Leonardo, too. So, Leonardo, and yes, again, it's the exact, well, no, it looks like he's only got one sword here. Oh, this one came open, pretty good. Yeah, he's only got one sword going in this one. Um, I imagine that's because it's probably difficult to get it going. So they're not the exact pose poses in the 16-bit version. Um, just made 16-bit. Um, but it's still cool, and it's still a good set. So now we get to see what duplicate that I got. Because though I would love to have... You know, I've got it. It's going to be solid all the way up to this last square because that's kind of how it worked out with the, uh, was it? I think, oh, no, I think I was missing two out of the, the Avengers. Um, but uh, we are going to take a look at this. And this is, an, oh, my God. Yes. Yes. We got Bebop. Wow. That's a perfect pull. That is a perfect Bitty Pop pull. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know they had a they had the case of these, and uh, you know I was I was just basically looking at the first person in every set to make sure I got one of each. But there's no way I could have just that's still random chance that I managed to get Bebop. Oh my God, that is a perfect pull, a perfect Thanksgiving turtle pull, and it's got to be the warthog. Oh my god, that is so cool. Yes! So, yeah, the, it's like, I've got them all, and I am set as far as the bitty pops go for the turtles. And, uh, yeah, I've got my little stack, and it is the perfect pull. <laughs> that's, all, that's all there is to it. So, wow! This is so, uh, I am so excited. Just the idea that I went from zero to the whole set with one purchase. Uh, I mean, I say one purchase, but there were four purchases. It just, I happened to purchase them all at the same time. So it feels like I only just went in there, grabbed them all and was done. And with Biddy Pops, that's not always the possibility. Um, it's actually very rare to actually have gotten all four sets and, uh, yeah, though they weren't, I mean, this one was exactly as it is on the box, but the other three weren't. So, uh, yeah, that just that just makes it all the more amazing. I can't believe I've got the perfect pull and got a set. No wasted characters, no wasted figures on this. So, yeah, that is wow, Ray's Chaos Works, because chaos comes order. And we got order. So there is my set of Biddy Pops uh, for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite bit was. Um, you know, I'll show them off more because, um, you know, doing the, doing the individual uh, guys, it's, it's a bit of a pain in the butt because they are so small and they've got that little case. And I'll give you a close up with them without having a little case on there. Um, and then I'll give you a whole, let's look at them all kind of thing. Just like I did with the, the Avengers thing. Um, I'm rambling now cause I'm excited 
and I actually just kind of ramble a lot. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now, and uh, I'm going to let you get a better look at these guys, and <laughs> subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because um, yeah, give me a like if you love the fact that I got all of them <laughs> on my first go into the uh, Bitty Pop world, um, or the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle version anyway. Um, yeah, this this is very encouraging. Um so yeah, you don't get to see a, a pull like that very often, and it got to, I got to do it. So that's really cool. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here now, and never forget the life is full of odd moments. You never know when you're gonna be defined.